This is the uh, 7.1 worksheet, uh, area between two graphs or area between two curves. Uh, let's look at some of these problems here. So starting with number one, it says write the integral that can be used to find the area of the shaded region. Uh, so uh, this top curve, um, which is going to alternate between top and bottom, is the g of x curve. And then this here is the f of x curve. Uh, and because they alternate, we have to uh, treat this like two separate integrals. Uh, we can do top minus bottom for this portion, but then for this portion here, we have to say top minus bottom being f of x minus g of x. So we plug into our area formula, which is left, x, um, um, left bound to the right bound for the first region, upper bound, top, um, top function minus the bottom function. So in this first region here, top function is g of x and bottom function is f of x. For the second region here, top function is f of x and the bottom function is g of x. So because the, because the graphs alternate uh, between top and bottom, we have to split this up into the sum of two definite integrals if we want to find the area of those two regions. Okay, number two, uh, we have this curve, which is f of x, and this curve is going to alternate uh, between being the bottom function in this first region and is going to move up to being the top function in the second region. So uh, we have to, again, split this up into two intervals, uh, two sums. So for the first uh, region, the top function or the top curve or top graph is uh, the line y equals zero. So that takes the place of the top function minus the bottom function, in this case, will be the f of x. So zero minus f of x between a and b, which can be simplified to be negative f of x dx from a to b. So this will ensure that we get the area of this region here. Okay. Second region, top curve now will be the f of x, and the bottom curve is now going to be y equals zero. So f of x minus zero would be just f of x, uh, definite integral from b to c. Okay. Now this third graph is, um, we see that these two curves are no longer oriented um, above each other with there being a top and then the other one being a bottom. Uh, these two are, ne are now oriented um, to the left and to the right of each other. So we have to think of this as right curve minus left curve. Uh, so uh, imagine now we're stacking all these horizontal rectangles uh, from um, this bottom uh, uh, bound, lower bound, D, all the way up to C. So the formula says lower bound to upper bound, that's from D to C, of our right curve, which in this case is my G of Y, minus the left curve, which in this case is F of Y, DY. So everything that we're plugging in here will be in terms of y. Okay, let's look at some uh, specific examples here, exam uh, problems. So starting with number four, we have uh, find the area bounded by the region. So first we have the x-axis and the curve y uh, equals 2x minus x squared. So the curve 2x minus x squared is here. y equals 0, that's the x-axis. So the region bounded, so we're trying to find the enclosed region uh, that is created um, with these graph and lines as boundaries. So we see that um, it'll be this semicircle uh, region here, and we have to decide which rule we want to use. Uh, and first thing we need to do, though, is we need to find the intersections. So the intersections, the way we find that is we set the curve equal to each other. So 2x minus x squared being the curve, set it equal to the other line, which is y equals 0. Factor out the x, solve uh, for x, we get 0 and 2. So we know that our left bound is 0 and our right bound is 2. And this is in the form of top minus bottom, so our top curve will be 2x minus x squared and our bottom graph will be 0. So we simply just plug into our formula, top graph minus bottom graph, and we go through our appropriate rules here. So we go through power rule, 
And then we evaluate between our upper and lower bounds. We get 4 minus 8 thirds, which is 4 thirds um, square units. All right, number 5. Um, we have the y-axis and the graph x equals y squared minus y cubed. It's a little more difficult to figure out what this graph looks like since we can't, um, uh, this is not a function. This is a, uh, well, this is a graph in terms of y. So if we just plug in some order pairs, we're going to see that our graph looks something like this. So uh, it's a cubic function, but it's turned on its side. So we're trying to find uh, the enclosed region between this graph and the y-axis. So the enclosed region is going to be this portion. Um, uh, and so this is, uh, the two graphs are, um, um, are set up so that we have a right graph and a left graph. So we have to do right minus left. Everything will be in, have to be in terms of y. So uh, x equals 0, that's the first equation. And the second equation is x equals y squared minus y cubed. The right curve in this instance is y squared minus y cubed. The left curve is 0. So y squared minus y cubed minus 0. And we also need to find the uh, intersections. So we set the two graphs equal to each other, the y squared minus y cubed, set it equal to the, the y-axis, which is x equals 0. Factor out the y squared, solve for y, we get 0 and 1. So we simply just go through power rule and solve. y cubed over 3 minus y to the fourth over 4. Evaluate between 0 and 1. Plug 1 in first, we get 1 third minus 1 fourth. Plug in 0 and we get 0 minus 0, so 1 third minus 1 fourth is simply 1 twelfth.